never thought I was going to leave. I thought I was going to retire here. So it's actually kind of sad, bittersweet to leave. Yeah, throughout Foreign Language Club, we've had a really good time. It started off kind of small um, when I got here, I think because they didn't know who was going to be in charge of it. Mrs. Vinny and I got it to be a really solid club. I always like uh, reaching kids that maybe don't know where they fit in and they kind of come to Foreign Language Club and, and they do it all, so that's always a good time. I want to tell my students that we all believe in you. Uh, Granite City is a great place because of the people that live here and do great things. Um, the kids are so capable of doing wonderful things. They have tons of knowledge and I hope that they continue on and do really well in their high school careers and continue to love Spanish or even if they decide to, you know, get out of Spanish, that they make the best of the remaining time of their, their high school careers because it really is, in my opinion, some of the best years of your life. So I have all faith and hope and desires for them to have a fabulous high school career. I am just so beyond words thankful for the experience to be able to teach in Granite City. I was born and raised in Granite City. I've lived, I lived here up until I was married and uh, I, I just love the chance to work with some of my uh, biggest and best role mod models. Uh, I've had the best mentors here and, and that's who I'll miss the most. My really dear friends and all of the great teachers that we have here and my fabulous students. So I wish Granite City all the luck. Like I said, you can take the girl out of GC, but not the GC out of the girl. So I'll always be a warrior at heart. That makes me feel good. Um, Miss Avesha stands out because ever since sophomore year, she was always so interested in my life and she just always knew the right thing to say to make me smile. And she's just a very nice person. She's got great fashion. Her Instagram is very trendy. Uh, she's just overall a great person. And it's, that's why she stands out. And she's always there for me. And she's not, I wouldn't say a mom, but an older sister. I just like her. She's right here, always. Oh, Miss of Asia, this school is gonna lose a great person. Like. She is the best teacher I've ever met because she truly cares about the education of her kids and she truly like goes out of her way for the kids to learn Spanish. Mm -hmm. She wants them to learn, she wants them to be smart. And she's leaving and like that kind of like will mess up like some generations like the people who are going to take Spanish because all the freshmen who are coming in, all the kids who are still going to take Spanish, like they're not going to get that engaging like how Miss Savasia like makes them get engaged. Right. Miss Savasia, I just wanted to say thank you for everything you've done for me and for Sal, who's over there. Uh, you've been such a big part of my life and I'm gonna miss you a lot next year when I graduate and I'm gone. And I'm sure everyone else here at GCHS is gonna miss you too because you were just such a great person and I'm gonna get teared up. All right. All right, that's all I'm going to say. Muchas gracias por todo lo que has hecho por mí, por mis amigos, por Isa, por la escuela. Has hecho tantas cosas por todos los estudiantes, has tratado mucho con ellos y espero que tengas una vida más feliz, más 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 buena en Edwardsville, porque yo sé que ya te van a tratar mejor y espero que Todavía estamos en contacto y eso claro que sí vamos a estar. Uh, te deseo mucha suerte y te deseo lo mejor de todo. La escuela te va a extrañar bien mucho. Muchas gracias por todo lo que has hecho. Adiós.